Hi everyone, Wallace here to help you out with your seventh task of the Read Harder Challenge. Libby is a one-tap reading app presented by Overdrive. By downloading Libby to your phone, you can borrow thousands of ebooks and audiobooks from your local library for free, anytime, anywhere. You'll find titles in all genres, ranging from bestsellers, classics, nonfiction, comics, and much more. Libby works on Apple and Android and is compatible with Kindle. All you need is a library card, but you can sample any books without one. In select locations, Libby can even get you a library card instantly. You can learn more at meet.libbyapp.com. And now on to the books. The first book I have for you is The Birch Bark House by Louise Erdrich. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. This is the award-winning series that is like kind of the uh, answer to Laura Ingalls Wilder's Little House on the Prairie series. So this series is from the viewpoint of um, a Native American child. So it's still that same time period, it's still in the West, it's still about uh, European expansion throughout uh, North America. It's just told from a different perspective. So this is one that I am really excited to put on my list because I have a son. So I'll be wanting to read this so that he can um, add this to his collection when he's old enough. And here's the cover of the Birch Bark House for you. Next is Something Like Love by Beverly Jenkins. So this is a Western romance. And please do note, I am giving you these different books. I'll give you one classic Western, but um, a lot of these kind of overlap. So if you're new to Western or it's not really your thing, then there'll be something else about it that you might like. Like the first book that I mentioned was like a middle grade novel. This one is a romance. Um, so desperate to escape an arranged marriage, this woman gets on the train, she heads west, the train is overtaken by this like outlaw gang. Then Olivia continues on to the little town in Kansas that she had meant to go to all along. She was setting up shop as a seamstress and you know the gang of outlaws had one in particular that she really liked and we have to wonder when they're going to see each other again and while they do olivia becomes the, the mayor of her town and he is continued to be an outlaw so they're going to meet while he has bounty hunters chasing him down it's going to be very exciting and here is a cover of the beverly jenkins novel for you so the next one is sci-fi fantasy frontier novel it's called The Gaslight Dogs, and it's by Karen Lowachi. Again, I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly. So this is like a thinly veiled metaphor for, for Europeans coming and taking over Native American land. Um, but she calls them different things. She doesn't call them Na Native Americans, and she doesn't call them uh, Europeans. She has names for them because this is a made-up built world. So basically one of the Europeans, one of the Native Americans, and they have different names in this, and I'm sorry, I'm not very good at pronouncing this because I haven't like had a lot of practice. Syracusan, which is like would be the Europeans, and Anu, which would be the Native American people. Um, so one from each of them end up together they kind of have to rely on each other so that's the story and of these two peoples in this land that one of them is trying to take over um and i've i've read in the reviews that it's a pretty thinly disguised book about europeans taking over north america um so it'll be a familiar story it'll you'll get the fact that it's western frontier in that way um she's built a different world in which to display this story so that's where the sci-fi and the fantasy come in. So that could be really fun too. Here's the cover of the Gaslight Dogs. And the last one is Lonesome Dove by Larry McCurdy. This one's classic Western. There's no bent to it. It's just straight up Western. Um, so it's a classic. So if that's something that you like to check off your list, then you can do that here. A lot of people at Book Riot actually really love this novel. I have a very old copy that I think I possibly got for free or 75 cents somewhere. It's a book about a cast of characters that are living in the Wild West and their relationships with each other. It takes place around a town called Lonesome Dove, Texas. It's got love stories, it's got adventure, it's got everything you need from the Wild West. And obviously this is the cover for you. I'm giving you the covers today because I didn't have physical copies of all of them. So those are my ideas for Westerns. If you need more, we've also got a post about it on the site and you guys can recommend to each other down below in the comments.
Good luck with your challenge. I'll see you next time.